Rails, can we start with Rash maybe, mate? We didn't yep. see him out on the track this morning. Do you have an update on how he's progressing? Yeah, he's still a little bit banged up, Josh, after his start to the year. So he won't play this week. He'll have another week off and, um, and then into the bye. So three weeks off and got a bit of a program around that. So when he comes back, he's really fresh and ready to go. Just carrying the court, that's the main Yeah, problem. yeah, yep, yeah. He's, he's got a few little things that are just... Yeah, he's just not cherry ripe, and for someone first year player, and he's a pretty important player for us actually. So, freshen him up and get him right for after the bye. What have you made of his start, mate? Well, obviously, when he hit the round one was was pretty amazing, and he's had a fair few games and rising star nominee, and oh, he's just been great. Um, he's just ready to play, which is which has been really good. And his last couple of games um, probably weren't at the level, and and probably got a bit tired. Remember these guys haven't played for like two years before so and that's why we're sort of making this decision now that um, yeah that volume of footy was probably a little bit too much so we'll, we'll give him a break and he'll reset. So will he go home or stay in Adelaide? Uh, I think most of the party will stay in Adelaide yeah he actually got home um, for the Geelong game and saw all his family in Shep so no it's more around the program about just getting him back and ready to go. And, and I guess the other couple Murray and Duda just Manage today, but hopefully they'll be okay. Yeah, it looks like they'll be fine, but yeah, we're just cautious with them. Murray trained indoors, and, and then um, Tommy was out there doing some strides and whatnot, so yeah, fingers crossed they'll be right, but they'll be tested on Friday. And gastro never much fun, and it's quite contagious, but yeah. hopefully you've contained it to those boys. I think so, yeah, I think we have. It has been around all other clubs as well, so hopefully um, it's just a couple, and yeah, we'll be right to go. It's, I know it's no hard and fast rule, but Riley Phil Phil looked like he was training in the yellows, which sometimes means reserves, is that the way it's leaning or you haven't made that call? No, not at all. No, Riley's just there to play because we had a few on the bench so he either started on the bench or we put him in the other side so no, Riley's ready to go. I th actually thought he trained really well so no, really positive with Riley. He looked a little uncomfortable when he left, he grumbled something about yeah, he's working through a few things like that. It's why his knee's strapped, but you know, it's just a minute, and then he then he's right to go again. So, no, he's uh, he's got that young body that's still growing, and and it, he's working through it and showing a lot of resilience actually. But no, he's he's right. He's ready to go. So yep. with Taylor coming back, is, is is there a conversation to be had about Bill Uh No, we need a second ruck, and Riley will be our second ruck for sure. Yeah. And just on text, he, he looked like he was. Sort of itching to get out there, you know. After a week off, he, he was champing the bit. Yeah, he was. He did some good stuff, and there's some things where he's a bit rusty. Um, but no, he's ready to go. He did a lot of extra stuff and uh, extra training, and worked on his craft. And we'll do a little bit more Friday, and I think he'll be ready to go. It feels like you've been really close, you know. Even yeah. particularly the Saints, and you know, a couple of weeks. Do you feel like? You're close, and how important to actually get some reward for, for that effort? No, we do. We think the score line hasn't really reflected how we've played, um, and it's a little bit on us as forwards to kick goals because um, last three or four weeks we've obviously kicked a lot of a lot of behinds, and yeah, to have a um, being beaten by the Saints by 20 points, and even on the weekend I thought we got close to Geelong. I think we're eight points down halfway through the third, and and looked really strong. And um, yeah, we do love how we've been around the contest. We love. A lot of our uh, defensive work and our ability to get back and help out, but we just need to finish our work, um, and that's something we've, we've been working on. But still, we didn't get as many inside 50s as we'd like, but we did look like scoring when we got it in there. So, um, yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot to look forward to. Uh, who sort of, you just mentioned that Phil Thorpe's going to help out in the rough, so he's going to be safe. Who's sort of going to make way for text? Are you still going to work out who's going to... Um, no, I, don't, I think we went really small last weekend against Geelong, so we'll probably go a little bit taller this week. So um, I think Tex will come in. I think Fogg had he, probably his best game for the year. Um, so Fogg, Fogg and um, obviously Shane has been in ripping form as well. So um, we'll, we'll, have, we'll have that sort of lineup. We've still got a lot of smalls around those big guys, but um, we probably played a forward down last week when Tex came out. So um, we'll just bring a forward in this week. Yeah. Are you happy with like how uh, Lockie Murphy's going, Jimmy Rose sort of going? You need you need that mix in that forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their pressure and their ability to win ground ball inside 50 is really important for us. Um, ability to lock the ball in um, is, is crucial as well. So they've been in they're pretty good form. There, there are others that still need to hit the scoreboard, which we're working on. But um, no, they're definitely helping um, the way we want to play. Has Fog turned the corner a little bit? Yeah, I hope he bottles what he had on the weekend. Um, I thought it was really good how he stood up and, and was really the man of our forward line. Took some ripping marks on some pretty good defenders and um, yeah, hopefully he continues with that because when we get the ball in his hands, he, he definitely helps us. Cool. Is there a bit of pressure on uh, the expectation set up there, Rails? I remember the last time the Giants game, it was sort of the expectation was that you were going as favourites and 
Nixie said you didn't really handle it well. This one's obviously yeah. at, at the extreme end of the scale. I mean, I think the Eagles are paying close to seven bucks. No, I understand your point. Yeah, it doesn't feel that way, but I understand, yeah. We um, still look at uh, West Coast. It will turn for them at some stage. You look at their lineup; it's still pretty strong. They've got a lot of classy players there, so... Um, and I'm sure they're looking at this game as a, an opportunity to turn, so we can't let that happen. So that's what we'll have that focus of, of really hunting them. So the way to expectation come in, and has, has anything been done to sort of address that? I mean, I know Nixie sort of said it, it yeah. got to the boys ahead of that Giants game. Yeah, is it hard? It's a even hard to gauge, I suppose. Yeah, maybe it is because I, yeah, just internally I don't really feel that. Um, but um, it is something that we need to, to rectify and get on top of. But I think the boys. You know, the head spaces, or well, their heads are in a pretty good space. And we know where we're at. We've improved the last few weeks. Um, and if we keep doing that and start kicking some goals, it will, will help. As a forwards coach, what happens? You had to dye the head black from silver? Or? <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> a little bit. Um, look, as we all know, they're doing the work. It's a little bit between the ears. And um, experienced sides do that, and young sides do that as well. So, um, yeah, no, they've been working on that, and it will turn. I'm, I'm pretty confident.